So a cylinder piston, let's just go, let's just jump right into it. So a cylinder piston contains one kilogram of water, got it. So the mass equals to one kilogram uh, at 3.5 megapascals. So we're going to say that this, this is the initial state, 3.5 megapascals. And then temperature one equals to, oh, it doesn't say because I can change the value. Uh, so what I'm going to pick for this example is 350 degrees Celsius. It's not that I'm putting this as an unknown. It's something that should be known, but I can, but you can change that and then see what happens if you change temperature. Okay, and then the system loses heat. So I'm going to put this row up. And so the heat is being lost here to the surroundings and the piston falls until it hits a set of stops. Oh, okay. So there were these stops. I didn't know that. Now I know it. And there is this piston here, okay? So that's what's gonna happen. It's gonna hit the stop at some point. Great, okay, so at that instant, when the this piston hits the stop, the water is completely saturated liquid. So let me just try to picture this other situation. And this situation is when this thing is has hit the stops and I'm gonna call it, this was initial state, so I'm gonna call this state two. Uh, so they are telling me, Please remember that this is saturated liquid. So, so this is saturated liquid. Okay, so that's an important thing to remember. Great. So um, it also says the cooling of the cylinder piston goes on. Okay, so more heat is being uh, dumped into the surroundings until the water is at, at 200 degrees Celsius. Let's just put another cylinder. These are the piston. These are the stops. And this is three, okay? And this three, this is when the temperature three equals to 200 degrees Celsius. Okay, so they are asking us a lot of stuff, okay? So initial state, blah, 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 change in specific volume. I will go to these questions when I have solved something. So let's just go to initial state. Initial state, I have these data. So using steam tables that I have here at my right, I can go to this place. So I need to use pressure and temperature and locate where the hell am I? So I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna move here and well, should I scroll? I don't know if I can scroll. I need to my, use my fingers. And I'm gonna go to three. This is the, maybe you can see it here. So this is this is the location. I don't wanna use the pen. So I, I think you already noticed that this is uh, 3,500 kilopascals, okay? So that's what you have here. And then you should move to your right. You should move to your right. Oh, I'm gonna try to do this. Okay, so this is where I'm located. Um, temperature, I do not have I do not have that one. I have higher than that. So if, if I have a higher temperature at that pressure than the temperature of the saturation fa uh, phase or, or, or state, Therefore, I'm in superheated. So right from the start, you know now that this is superheated. If you don't know how to get this stuff, you should practice on how to know if this is superheated, compressed liquid or mixture. But so far, this is superheated. You can also do this. So you do this graph, you put this point, this is liquid, this is vapor. This one over here is saturation line. This is pressure and this is temperature. And if you go into um 3.5 megapascals and you hit this curve the temperature needs to be the saturation temperature which is this 242 that you see here at my right in the table since you don't have that temperature you move to the right in order to find the three degrees celsius therefore you match these two informations this temperature and this pressure and there, therefore you know graphically that you are in superheated okay so superheated after that what well i'm going to scroll down and then i will try to uh, find stuff so i'm going to go back to i'm going to erase this yeah erase and then i'm going to try to move to this other place so i'm going to can i do it Thank you very much. Yeah. So this is superheated. This is my superheated table, steam table. And I'm going to move to 3.5 megapascals. So I have my 3.5 megapascals. And maybe I can see here that I'm at 350. So at 350, I'm trying to move it and do it as fast as possible. So I'm going to write here at my left the numbers that I have at my right. So what I'm going to do here is say, well, you know what? The big ones should be equal to, if I'm not missing this part, 
0.0776 okay uh cubic meters kilogram and then u1 equals to because i'm gonna maybe i'm gonna need them i really don't know but so far that's what i'm gonna take and then is 2836.0 okay so this is my information at my initial state great so let me see what they are asking so a find the initial state of water well that's my answer a now the next one b changing a specific volume from the initial state to when the piston touches the stops so this is when the piston hits the stop so i need to go and find b2 and then do a subtraction between b2 minus b1 that's what i, I need to do i have everything set for um for one let's just go to two so at two what happened is that let me just erase this one p2 equals to p1 so the movement of the piston from one to two was at constant pressure okay okay so this is a little bit uh, tricky most of the examples when you're using steam tables they will do it like this whether you are having a constant pressure process or whether you are having a constant volume process most of the times it, it is really difficult to deal with another type of processes that they exist isothermal polytropic adiabatic so in this case you always when you're trying to learn this stuff or when you're trying to teach this stuff you always stay at uh, uh, those two possibilities constant pressure or constant volume so since the piston move it needs to be for the sake of simplicity it needs to be constant pressure therefore i already have this one 3.5 megapascals and then i know that is saturated liquid so long story short you you're gonna move back to this one and we already have seen something regarding that so this is the 3.5 hopefully you detect this 3.5 let me just go here and say well 3.5 and if i need the volume this is going to be the volume because that's the bf that's a saturated liquid specific volume and if you need the uf uh, the u the internal energy this is this is the one that you're going to choose because this is a saturated liquid situation okay so i'm going to go back to this place okay so i'm going to go back and put now that v2 equals to bf if you want to put that at 3.5 megapascals at least you are informing me what you're doing so v2 equals to um 0. 0.001235 and then u2 equals to 105.4 um, great so if you want to know the change of volume it needs to be v2 minus v1 and i think i already have this information hopefully and then okay so yeah I have this is 0 .0, 0, 0 0.0 um cubic meters per kilogram. Okay. Well, great, great. So change in specific volume when the is that's it. Now let's just go to C pressure when the piston hits the stub. I already finish this one so this is just a conceptual question okay so what's the pressure when it hits the stop so when it hits the stop it needs to be the same one as it began because the pressure needs to be constant okay okay great so that's changing changing pressure uh, changing volume this is the one so changing volume i already have it b uh in specific on register yeah so c pressure when the piston hits the stop so this one is so this is what i have this is C, so let me just put here C. This is C, okay, a little bit messy, but you got the drill, okay? I can put it below. And then final quality. Oh, okay, so final quality. Let me just take, so this is the final state. So let me see what I have at this state three because I have done anything out of this final state so what you need to know this really quick is that the volume hasn't changed from two to three therefore i already have b3 which is 0.00 uh, let me just make myself a little bit of room 1235 okay so that's what i have here and i need to check in which region am i in if you want to know something about this one if you want to know if it's mixture it, maybe it is mixture because they are telling me that I need to find the quality, but I really don't know. I need to check it out. Therefore, I'm going to go to these tables and find what is going on and just erase this one. And let me just go to the 300 
uh, three, no, 300, no, 200. So through 200, oh, the last one of this table. So it's the last row of this table. Let me just try to show you 200. Okay, so let me just check the volume. So the volume will tell me what if if this thing is mixture or compressed liquid or superheated. These are the two values that I need to check. So if I go back to my table, to uh, to my this is 0 0.0012. So maybe you can find that this one over here, this one over here, remains in the middle. Maybe it's not a easy to look at. Okay, so hopefully you can understand from here that BF equals to 0 0.0011. Five seven. Meanwhile, VG equals to 0 0.12721, okay? And this guy over here remains in the middle. It's not actually in the middle. It's really close to the saturated liquid, but nonetheless, it's mixture. So this fella, this fella, I'm going to put it here. So this one is mixture. This one is saturated liquid, saturated liquid. And this one was superheated. And this one was superheated. Well, okay, so you have two, diff three different uh, states, okay? Therefore, you are located here and you are able to find the quality. Let's just do it. So uh, let me just do it with glue because I was using the glue. So let's just do it like that. So X3 equals to how would you do it? Well, I'm going to pick the value that I know, okay? So 0 0.001235 minus this lower value, 0 0.00, or a little bit of room, uh, 1157. And then divide everything by the subtraction of 0 0.12721 minus 0 0.001157. And maybe you will find out that the quality needs to be really small because it's really close to saturated liquid. Nonetheless, it has a value that is non-zero. So X3 out of this, I, I have 6.18 times to the minus 4. You should check it out if you agree with this. You need to also calculate whatever we are doing here. Let me just erase this um, this uh, draw this uh, drawings that I have done. Okay, so far I have the final quality. That was what they are asking me. So this is answer D and a PV diagram showing the process. Okay, so a PV diagram showing the process. So here is how it goes. This is B B. This is a curve. Let me just change color. This is a curve, and this is what happened. I was here superheated at 3.5 megapascals. So, okay, so 3.5 megapascals. You can also put the value of the volume because you know B1. So this is my point one. This is my point two because I reduced the volume till I hit the stops. And when I hit the stops, they are telling me that it's saturated liquid. So that's what happened. I just come from one to two. Okay, and then three, what, what happened to three? Well, it was a constant volume process. If it was a constant volume process and I have a lower value of, uh, of pressure, oh, how do you know I have you have a lower value? That's not a bad question. Let me go to this table and maybe you can find, I didn't actually get this one, but at 200 degrees Celsius, it is mixture. State three, it is mixture. So I need to have this pressure. There's no other way because that thing is boiling there. Okay, so I have that value and they didn't ask me that, but nonetheless, I now I, I can get it. Maybe they're asking me, I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is to raise this one over here, just let myself here. And this one over here is 1.55 and something megapascals, okay? So to do, 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 and then at the same volume, boom, this is state three. So this is what I have done with my, cylinder piston from one to two and then to three. I know I'm exaggerating a little bit stuff because maybe that's not the, you know, this is not a scale uh, drawing. Nonetheless, this is what I have, okay? So that's what happened. So finally, this is the EPV diagram showing the process and total volume change in cubic meters. Well, let me just say it. Delta B total equals to the change at the change of volume from one to two plus the change of volume from two to three. This one is zero. This is the change of volume from two to three. There is no change in volume. So the only one that I that I need is this one. And there's a to total change in volume in cubic meters. This one is a change in a specific volume. But since the mass is one kilogram, I just need to multiply this by, by one kilogram. Therefore, therefore, my, it was, this was, <coughs> Dios. 
Jesus. Okay, so this one is was E. Okay, let me just put this. This is the answer. E M for F for F. This one is delta B equals to the total mass, which I already know of delta B. And the only delta B that happened was from one to two. So delta B equals to minus 0 0.0756 cubic meters. That is exactly, if you want to know, 75.6 liters. So it's a huge deal in change of volume. Maybe you will say, well, the, maybe it's not that big. It is big. It's a big change by doing that. Okay. So that's the answer for this one. I will see you later on another problem. Okay. So let me just erase this one and see you later, guys.